Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is a uh, report on a second bug I found on the new Carinado uh, uh, Citation 550. I already reported to you guys about the uh, uh, nav button in the autopilot. The nav button, if you click it, it won't go beyond uh, uh, arm. You can't get it to turn on. Unless it turns on, you can't do a dry slope approach and just fly over the airport at the altitude you're at and uh, I'm going to attempt another uh, LPV approach into Hamilton which is 20 minutes away you can see I've set up the approach already to save some time and uh, we're going to fly over here to Bixham and then we're going to pick up the Daxit into Hamilton um, there's a second bug that I'm reporting here and that's with the vertical speed. This vertical speed descent button right here doesn't work either. For you to use that, you've got to go down here to the uh, autopilot here to get it to work with this button. It won't work up here. It only works down here. It shouldn't be that way. So this for, I mean, this airplane was $40 U.S., so, I mean, for $40 U.S., Karen Otto should really address these bugs. <clears throat> now, the one with, the one with, um, the nav button not working, people are saying to me, I went on the forums and tried to report it on the forums, and people are writing back saying, oh, try clicking off your, your, uh, try clicking off your CDI and, go over here to V-Lock and back to CDI and that didn't fix it and somebody else said well make sure you go in your HSI and make sure you've got GPS selected in the nav source and you see we've got GPS selected so we got GPS selected over here and we got GPS selected over here and we got a waypoint over here now when I click this nav button it should automatically go to on and it doesn't it goes to arm. That's all it does. Phone arm. Won't go on. Uh, same thing when you get in the air and you click the approach button. I've loaded it. I haven't activated it yet. I'll get in the air and then I'll activate it. And now the bug I'm going to show you is this vertical speed doesn't work, okay? So I've saved some time by just pre pre installing the uh, waypoint and the approach. So, so we'll get going here and we'll check it out. Oh, that's because I got flap one. I should have flap two. Flap two. You're up. Flaps, flaps up. Now put the autopilot on. Hit now. Now, it's on, and what's really weird is you see the nav button is following the course. But you can't get it to go, you can't get it to go on, on so it won't grab the glide slope. But it will follow the, uh, to the first waypoint. So there's something really buggy here. I'll pause this so you can hear me. No, there's something really buggy here. You see when I went to arm? It is picking up the waypoint. But it won't turn on unless it turns on it won't grab the approach and it won't do the glide slope and it'll stay at this altitude so that's the bug I reported already so now I'm going to show you with the vertical speed button all right um, I could set the altitude and it'll hold this altitude Yeah. 
speed up there too high, I'll get the speed down. That, that ping is, uh, I got the, the speed way up, it'll blow in a second here. There it's gone, oh, we're holding 2600. Now I switch over to vertical speed, and try to descend, look I'm clicking and clicking and clicking on this descend button. And it's not doing anything. You gotta go down here. To this one. Now it'll descend. See now we're descending. And if I hit the altitude, that will work. And if I hold that altitude. But like I'm saying, this vertical speed... There, pause it. This vertical speed will not work here. This button won't work. So there's something buggy with this plane. And they've been saying to me, when I couldn't get that nav button here to go to on, can't get the approach button to go to on, and they're saying, oh, it's a compatibility issue with the... Reality XP GTN 750 here. And that is absolute nonsense because I have this GTN 750 in several aircraft. I've got it in the Navajo. I've got it in the uh, Default 172. I've got it in the PC-12. I think I've got it in another plane. And it works just like a dream in all those planes. The only plane it doesn't work in is this plane. So there's nothing wrong with the GTN 750. It's got to do with the compatibility of this aircraft to the GTN, not the other way around. So Karen Auto really needs to address this. For 40 bucks, they got to fix this. So I just thought I'd point out those two issues to you guys. So have a nice day. I'll get this posted.